Hi guys, this is Mathias coming at you here with my first video about turning tides, you know, unless you count the videos I made from the test server a few weeks ago. At first, this DLC gave us two new maps, there is one more map coming, and as always, we also got a few new weapons. One of those new weapons is what I'm using here. This is the Farquhar Hill, and I'm using the Storm version. Now to unlock any of the new weapons you need to achieve two goals. Normally it's uh, a few kills with a certain weapons with the same class and something class specific to whatever class the weapon is for that you are trying to unlock. Like revives for the medic class for example. So yeah, basically the same as uh, unlocking the weapons for the previous DLCs. Let's make sure he knows that he's playing on PC that uh, pilot. Oh, there's another pilot. Now, personally, I felt that the two new maps, Cape Hellas and Achibaba, quite quickly became quite boring. Well, at least playing the same two maps over and over again, as I did on my stream when the DLC was released. Now, luckily, if you only care about the new weapons, or if that is something you care about specifically, you don't have to unlock them on any of these two new maps. You can play on any other map, reaching whatever goals you need in order to unlock whatever weapon you want. For example, later on in this video, you'll see me using the Automatico Storm, a weapon that I need a certain amount of kills with, but I used it on the map Amian. Shoot him down, he's gonna he's go for me now. 33. Yeah, nice. <laughs> he was pretty pissed at me, I think. Yes, I'm sure you understand. The reason why I was using the bar trench was to unlock this new machine gun for the support class. Notice how I just got sniped there by a level 29 from I don't know how far away. But being that this weapon is super accurate while bipodded, I was able to get my revenge from basically the same distance. Now, what makes this weapon unique is not in any way its accuracy, but its big magazine size and the amount of time that you can shoot with it before it overheats. It's probably going to take over the role as a plane counter from the MG-15 Suppressive. Now, unlike what a lot of us thought, me included, the ricochet bug was not fixed at the release of this DLC. I experienced it several times, and even though I'm sure there were a few bug fixes, they, they always make a big list. The ones that have been bothering me from, well, in some cases the release of the game, and in some cases for a very long time in general, those bugs were not fixed. We're talking about the shaky bug when you get revived, for example, really irritating. We're talking about the animations for proning and jumping over obstacles, that has been a problem since beta. Still not fixed, the irritating turbulence effects of oh, planes, which me. probably what? is a feature, it's just a very bad feature. I guess that will never be fixed, because I think that DICE considered that bug fixed, since this no longer happens with the AA, only with everything else. Now all in all, I think this DLC was the least interesting out of the ones that we've seen so far. This is of course just my opinion, and if you, for example, think that these maps are fantastic, maybe you really like some of the weapons, then of course you might look at this DLC from a very different point of view. Also keep in mind that I haven't yet tested the, the new Elite Soldier, um, the Infiltrator. Some people have also pointed out that the new big ship on Cape Hellas is really interesting, and so far I haven't tried it out yet. So maybe in the future, I will be a little bit more positive to this DLC. I guess we will find out soon enough. Either way, whatever you think about Turning Tides, I really hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope you will enjoy the rest of it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. No. Oh. 
that nade though. I can't move. I, I want to run in there to the right, but that, that grenade is in my way. Yeah, I can do it. The strafing is really uh, bad now. Yeah. He bailed? Yeah. Okay, you're ready? They're in the bunker here? Yeah. Three or four? I'm going on a bit of a flank here. Okay, that flank helped, I guess. I'm not using my kit anymore. I did pick up that. Oh, he's almost dead! I hear him. I killed him. I have been promoted! Level 121. That took a while. Should get that. Got him. Nice. A little triple. Not so little. An enemy has arrived. 
Oh, they're right there where I dropped the bombs, but I didn't die from it. Oh shit, bail! On me, on me, multiple. Yeah, nice. Another one. Yeah, oh, the <laughs> dreadnought got me. Wow, alright.